take this as permission. If you have a Twitch stream or you want to use my music in one of your videos or something, this is your permission. Go ahead and use the music. Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic, and I thank you for joining me today. We are going to do the new one by Adam Calhoun. Let me get this right. Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, Struggle Jennings, and Nova. So this should be a good mix up. I have not heard Struggle Jennings. So uh, let's get into this and see what it's like. They separate us from our neighbors and they call it social distancing. It's actually a bigger plan. It's called social conditioning. They took away our privacy. There's always someone listening. The elections planning riots for the citizens. The government has always lied. It's history. Wow, right off the bat, they have conditioned us to be okay with being alone. And it's not normal for us to be alone. We are social creatures. We're pack animals. And... Um, you know, human interaction is extremely important for us. Um, we are a species and uh, just like wolves, um, we like to have our pack. And um, I've seen a lot of damage happen, especially with children throughout this past two years. So yeah, it, uh, it no longer was about health. It became more about control and compliance. And I probably won't say too much more about that. It's actually a bigger plan. It's called social conditioning. They took away our privacy. There's always someone listening. The elections planning riots for the citizens. The government has always lied. It's history repeating. But the problem is the schools dumb you down so you believe them. If you try to speak the truth inside a tweet, then they delete it. Whole administration Satanists who claim they praise in Jesus. Every year there's a new name for enemies that we're facing. It's Al-Qaeda, then ISIS, and now American patriots. Who would have thought... Wow, yeah. Um, it's true. It's always... It's like the flavor of the month, right? Um, I think that a lot of the issues that have started to be um, on the forefront now, especially are like the anti-juicers. Um, you know, it's like they're seen as the crazy people and, for wanting people to have a choice um, on what kind of medical uh, procedures they're taking. And um, But you won't hear the majority of any of the studies that have just come out on the mainstream media. So like most of you, I would assume, um, you're looking into alternative media to find these um, little tidbits and but we're seen as the Looney Tunes right for even questioning the government do they do people think that the government is actually suddenly gonna just care about the little people it's career politicians and they keep politicking to pander to their base to keep getting elected to keep breaking these promises once they get into office. Um, I don't know, where's that cure for cancer, Joe? I do believe that was one of your campaign promises. We then they deleted whole administration Satanists who claim they praise in Jesus. Every year there's a new name for enemies that we're facing. It's Al-Qaeda, then ISIS, and now American patriots. Who would have thought those who love the country the most would be hated on by folks who call America home? Both political parties are equally just as evil. Yep. They've been working for themselves. Don't give a damn about the people. Black, white, yellow, brown, humanity needs you. Because united we stand. Divided they will defeat you. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy and they're lying to us. Don't know who to believe, so in God we trust. Y'all missing what was written in them pages. That was history they wrote, now you want to change it. You racist. You hate this. Why you want us all to be locked up in cages? I can't stand the left. Everything they say is depressing. Ship them to the Middle East. They can learn oppression. Believe me, I mean this quite literal. I love liberty, but I liberals. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what he said there. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, if we stay divided, um, black, white, 
uh, anti-juicer, pro-juicer. The news just wants to keep peddling some kind of division to keep you looking over here at this graph. And then while you're looking over here at this super important information that they're lying to you about, they quietly pass something else that is going to line the pocket. What, what politicians do you actually trust? Um, because most of them are career politicians. There needs to be term limits. And uh, I don't trust any of them. So yeah, this is just more division. Um, and like he said, <laughs> you know, ship them off to the Middle East and uh, see how they fare there. But I think that, you know, we're like they said, we're the problem. And um, we're just trying to save you, you little plebs with these trillions of dollars that we keep on printing. And uh, I don't know that the majority of the people understand that. Everything they say is depressing. Ship them to the Middle East, they can learn oppression. Believe me, I mean this quite literal. I love liberty, but I liberals. Wear a mask, stay home, complain and moan. Talk about privilege on your phone in your Range Rover, Starbucks, mango, foo foo, whatever. The cloth I'm cut from can handle any weather. You just paper in the rain, we ain't the same. Stand for the flag, only kneel when I pray. I just pray we go back to the old days, land of the free, home of the brave. My husband and I have talked about this a lot, you know, like we wish we could go back in time and live in like the 50s or the 60s. Um, there were a lot of struggles back then as well, but it just seems to just be so absolutely like uh, Twilight Zone the way we're living right now. And uh, sometimes it feels like it would be easier to just go back when things seemed so much more um, sane. You know, paper in the rain, we ain't the same. Stand for the flag, only kneel when I pray. I just pray we go back to the old days, land of the free, home of the brave. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy. just it right you don't know who to believe so those of us who have faith um we don't live in this fear cycle that is peddled by the news and um i've seen from every country you see these it's it's usually completely left-leaning um, but we know that the media is owned um black rock is huge basically owns everything and um we're under this this guise of you know the freedom to buy from this company or this company or um but really it's all a monopoly you think you have a choice when really it's all owned by a couple of companies unless we go and live in the woods and grow our own food and harvest our own meat we are pretty much under that control so um gosh that sounds depressing the world's going crazy and they lying to us Don't know who to believe, so in God we trust Yeah, uh, I see through all the illusions Refuse to humor rumors or accept that we're losing he Dude, what an awesome voice this guy has Sorry, I have to go back again believe, so in God we trust Yeah I see through all the illusions, refuse to humor rumors or accept that we're losing. Easy to get caught up, consumed by the consumer. Truth is so deluded, people starve off oh, the confusion. Let's go Brandon shirt. <laughs> um, just from the little bit that he's said here, Struggle Jennings, uh, people would rather just go home and watch The Bachelor and, you know, they're comfortable in their complacency. Um... I don't know. I think that maybe some people just like to be ignorant and not have to deal with it. I mean, that's one way to maybe not stress about it. They are allowed to live in their ignorance and call us uneducated when we're the ones who are actively sort of looking for this information, trying to figure out um, exactly what to believe. We're trying to form our own opinions, but 
it's it's like if you don't watch CNN and just nod and smile, uh, we're the crazy ones. I like being informed or feeling that I'm searching for some sort of information to really find out uh, because we do know that the, the media is complete BS and um, I don't I don't trust big pharma. I don't trust the media. I don't trust the government. I don't trust any of them. So um, I think if anybody has a huge amount of money to make off of me, that is a number one red flag and immediately it's suspect. Uh, I see through all the illusions Refuse to humor rumors or accept that we're losing Easy to get caught up, consumed by the consumer Truth is so deluded, people starve off their confusion Comfort is the killer, your dream's execution Cool with persecution if I make a contribution Home of the brave look like a mental institution And there will be revolution if we can't find resolution And a threat is a promise, stand up, pay homage They tell lies, I'm being honest, test the time is upon us I know that God got us, so I'm fighting in his honor Hear the cries of the crew Satyrs as we're strapping up our armor Either set set a higher ground or drown in a drama If I die for what I love, then my death will be nirvana We yeah. fighting for our freedom, don't believe what they've been feeding Be the change you want to see, the warrior that we're needing right. Man on the news says the problem is me I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams The world's going crazy Trust the news, the government, or pharma. We just want freedom that you have that to offer. We don't want the lies, the politics, or the drama. We just want the life that was promised by our fathers. We don't trust the news, the government, or pharma. We nope. just want freedom that you have that to offer. We don't want the lies, the politics, or the drama. We just want the life that was promised by our fathers. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy and they lying to us. Don't know who to believe, so in God we trust. Great. Yeah, like he said, I don't. I don't trust any of them. And, you know, I find it odd that people who just love their country, you know, small town boy, um, wanting to work hard, better yourself, for some reason that's seen as, I don't know what you would call it, everything's racist these days. It's really sad that for some reason only one narrative is accepted now. But uh, thankfully, there's voices out there like these guys who buck the system and uh, give the proverbial and literal middle finger to it all. And that's what I love about it. So uh, this was great. First time hearing Struggle Jennings. I dig his voice big time. And um, what a great collaboration. It was nice to hear Nova. And uh, once again... Great work with uh, Tom and Adam. So thank you once again for joining me today. And like I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.